Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we will be covering the news from April 1st to 7th. Let's get started. On April 1st, ISRO has launched India's latest satellite, EMISAT. What was the launch vehicle used? Odisha celebrated 84 years of its foundation on which date? India signed off with a total of how many medals at Asian Air Gun Championship in Taiwan, Taipei? With the GST collection in March 2019, of 1.06 lakh crore, it became, I want the rank, it first, second, third highest collection till now. Kandamal Haldi Turmeric that recently got GI tag is grown in which state? Let's look at the answers. We are talking about PSLV C45, that's the launch vehicle which was used. Okay. Odisha celebrated the 84 years of the foundation on 1st of April, a day you will not forget. The day is also known as Utkal Divas. Okay, India signed off with a total 25 medal at the Asian Air Gun Championship in Taiwan, Taipei. Taipei. GST uh, has reached this 1.06 lakh crore and that's the highest in the history of tax in India and the fourth time monthly collection have crossed 1 lakh crore. Kandamal Haldi turmeric produced in the tribal farmers by the tribal farmers in Odisha, Kandamal district has received the GI tag. Okay, so Kandamal is in Odisha. Okay, let's look at the next five. Hum Pak Mashir, scientific name TOR, Tor Rema Devi fish is only found in which river basin? Who is the winner of Bahrain Grand Prix 2019? The Tianlian-201 satellite belongs to which country? Which company in India became the first to introduce a voice-based financial transaction? Mopa International Airport project is located in which state? Let's look at the answers. Humback Mashir is found only in Kaveri River Basin. Formula 1 world champion Lewis Hamilton secured his first victory of the season. He was actually coming at second place, but because of the loss of power by this Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc, he could win the Bahrain Grand Prix. China has successfully launched the first of its new generation data relay satellites into the orbit. That's Tianlian-201 satellite. Customers of Reliance Mutual Fund can now carry out voice-based financial transaction with Reliance Nippon Life Asset Management, RNAM, partnering with internet major Google. The health of the environment is key to preserving the right to life, the Supreme Court has observed in a recent judgment and suspended environmental clearance granted for an international airport at Mopa in Goa. This is causing heavy loss to the people who had got this contract. Let's look at the next five. For the first time, Dash will witness braille enabled ballot paper at all polling booths. According to a study by AIIB, India ranked Dash in Asia in terms of cost of construction of roads. After the merger of BOB, Dena Bank and Vijaya Bank, it became India's Dash largest public sector bank. Which Indian company is going to buy 75% stake in Starter NV, a subsidiary of the Dutch-based ABN Amro Bank for strategic partnership in Netherlands. Which company became the most profitable company by far? Let's look at the answers. The Election Commission has made arrangements to issue braille enabled ballot paper at all polling booths. The EC initiative, a first in Meghalaya, will facilitate more than 800 visually impaired electorates to vote by a secret ballot. Road building in India is the cheapest in Asia after Philippines. A study by the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank has noted. The three-way merger between Bank of Baroda, Dena Bank and Vijaya, which became effective on 1st of April, created India's second largest public sector bank, first SBI, and the third largest commercial bank, first SBI and second HDFC, Bank of Baroda headquarters, Alkapuri, Vadodara, and MDNCO is PSJ Kumar, tagline India's international bank. 
Global software major Infosys said its consulting arm would buy 75% stake in Starter NV, a subsidiary of Dutch-based ABN Amro Bank for strategic partnership in Netherlands. Saudi Aramco opened its book revealing that it generated 111.1 billion in net income last year, making it probably the world's most profitable company by far. It handily beat Apple 59.5 billion in net income in 2018 and ran laps around other oil companies like Royal Dutch Cell 23.9 billion and Axon Mobil 20.8 billion. Let's move to the next. Which company has been conferred with the prestigious Economic Times Best Brand 2019 award? Karnataka Bank has entered into a memorandum of understanding with which company to distribute the latest life insurance product? Who took over as the new president of Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association of India, CREDI? Which team has retained the ICC Test Championship Mace for third straight year? Name the publisher of book Modi Again and Saffron Sword Centuries of Indian Resistance to Invaders. Let's look at the answers here. Max Bupa, a leading standalone health insurance player, has been conferred with the prestigious Economic Times Best Brand 2019 award at a ceremony in Mumbai. Karnataka Bank has entered into memorandum of understanding with Bharti AXA Life Insurance Company to distribute the latest life insurance product. Karnataka Bank headquarters is Mangalore, MDNCU, Mahabaleshwar, MS, tagline your family bank across India. Pioneer of Magar Pat City project, Satish Magar took Charge as the new president of Confederation of Real Estate Developers Association of India, CREDI. India has retained the Test Championship maze for third straight year and pocketed the purse of 1 million as a result following a memorable season that saw them winning their first or that's maiden series in Australia. One of India's homegrown startup publishing house, Garud Prakashan is all set to launch its next two books, Modi Again and Saffron Sword, Centuries of Indian Resistance to Invaders. Let's... Maitri Bridge, located in Choglamsar village in Leh, is constructed on which river? Which fictional character will become the first entrant to the Comic-Con Museum Character Hall of Fame later this year? India and which country have set up the first ever secure communication link between the naval headquarters under the landmark Comcasa Pact reached last year. The theme for World Autism Awareness Day is observed on 2nd April 2019. We have to tell what was the theme for this. Which country has approved the sale of 24 multi-role MH-60 Romeo Seahawk helicopters to India? Let's look at the answers. The 260-foot bridge, Maitri Bridge, the longest suspension bridge, is built over Indus River at Choglamsar village in Leh and was open to public. Batman, who turned 80 years old, got a birthday gift at WonderCon in Anaheim, with the fictional character being announced as the first entrant to Comic-Con Museum character Hall of the Fame later this year. India and US have set up their first ever secure communication link between the naval headquarters. Because of this, Comcasa is Communication, Compatibility and Security Agreement. The United Nations General Assembly unanimously declared 2nd April as World Autism Awareness Day to highlight the need to help improve the quality of life of those with autism so they can lead full and meaningful lives as an integral part of the society. Assistive Technologies Active Participation was the theme. The Trump administration of the US has approved the sale of 24 multi-role MH-60 Romeo Seahawk helicopters to India at an estimated cost of 2.4 billion US dollars. The Election Commission of India has reached out to over how many community radios stations from across the country to help educate and inform the voters. Recently, which high court has barred the mentioning of caste in the FIRs. 
Abdelaziz Bouteflika resigned as the president of which country? Recently, which country has scrapped the profession criteria and made income only requirement for expats to sponsor family? Which country has changed its era into a new era named Reva? Election Commission has reached out to over 150 community radio stations from across the country to help educate and inform the voters. Punjab and Haryana High Court has barred mentioning of caste in FIRs. Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika has resigned after weeks of mass protest. United Arab Emirates has approved a new rule for expats under which foreign workers will now be able to sponsor their family if they fulfill certain income criteria, a move which will benefit lakhs of Indians. Next month, Emperor Akihito is scheduled to relinquish his position to his son, Crown Prince Naruhito. As is the tradition in Japan, the, new, the reign of the new emperor is accompanied by a new era name. And on so 1st of May, Heisei, achieving peace period will come to an end and the new era called Reva, beautiful harmony will begin. Which country has agreed to work with India for exploration and extraction of lithium deposits? Which country will host 2019 Asian School Games? J. Mahendran, who passed away at the age of 79, was a veteran. What? Dilip Sarkar, who died at the age of 61 years, was a senior. What? Karthik Chandrat, who passed away at the age of 70, was associated with field of which field? Here are your answers. During President of India's visit to Bolivia, this was there in our last uh, gainful. India announced that 100 million line of credit to Bolivia and then Bolivia gave in principle agreement to India being part of the, to be a part of the Security Council signed eight MOUs covering wide range of subject and both also agreed to work together for the exploration and extraction of vast lithium deposits of Bolivia. They also signed to become International Solar Alliance member. Students from Southeast Asian countries and regions will compete at 2019 Asian School Games in July, Indonesia's Semarang City. Veteran Director J. Mahindran passed away at the age of 79. Senior Tripura BJP leader and five times MLA Dilip Sarkar died at the age of 61 years. Eminent theatre organizer and playwright Karthik Chandrat passed away at the age of 70. Let's see. What is India's GDP growth projection of ADB in current fiscal? Which bank became the first to charge for UPI transactions? Dash has signed a pact with Indraprastha Gas Limited for setting up rooftop solar projects in the country. Who is the recipient of 2019 Canada Gardner Award by the Gardner Foundation? Dash was felicitated by the Asian Tour with Special Achievement Award for his contribution to Asian Golf. Asian Development Bank has said India is expected to grow at 7.2 in the current fiscal on strengthening consumption, expected to rebound to 7.2 in 19 and 7.3 in 2020. From the 1st May 2019, Kotak Mahindra Bank will charge for UPI transaction. For the first 30 UPI fund transfer in a month, Kotak Bank will continue to provide them free of cost and any subsequent UPI will be charged. UPI transactions will be charged. Tata Power has signed a pact with IGL for setting up rooftop solar projects in the country. The, the Gaidner Foundation announced the 2019 Canada Gaidner Award laureates recognizing Goa and Boston-based Vikram Patel for his research career raising the global profile of mental health problems. Dr. Pawan Munjal, Chairman Hero Motor Corp, the world's largest manufacturer of motorcycles and scooters, was felicitated by the Asian Tour with a special achievement award for his contributions to Asian Golf. Recently, India signed an agreement with a development bank for setting up the India Africa Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development IAIARD, in which, which place, which state is going to organize CAFE scientific program, DASH, and 
African American woman became the mayor of Chicago, US for the first time. According to the study by LinkedIn, which company topped the tally of the most preferred workplace in India? Who has published State of Global Air 2019? Let's look at the answers. We are talking about this agreement with the, with the Development Bank for setting up India Africa Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development in Malawi. A group of science experts of the Human Center for Ecology and Wildlife Biology in Kerala is gearing up to launch Cafe Scientific to promote science among the public in an interesting way. It's, it's basically a French model. Chicago has created history by electing African American woman as its first mayor for the first time. Lori Lightfoot, a 56-year-old former federal prosecutor and practicing lawyer who has never before held elected office, won the city's mayoral race by a huge margin. She will also be Chicago's first openly gay mayor. Walmart-owned Flipkart is the most preferred workplace in India, followed by Amazon and Oyo in second and third places, respectively, according to the list compiled by professional social Media Network, LinkedIn. State of Global Air 2019, published by Health Effects Institute, HEI US, said exposure to outdoor and indoor air pollution contributed to over 1.2 million deaths in India in 2017. Let's move to the next. Which city became the top contributor to the Exchequer? Which social media platform has launched new feature called TipLine? Which social networking platform is getting shut down as a part of spring cleanup 2019 of a major tech company? Dash became the first Indian male squash player to enter the top 10 in the latest PSA world ranking. Which state has ranked number one in e-learning training? Mumbai has once again emerged as a top contributor to the Exchequer and accounted for 32% of the overall tax collection in the financial year ended March. Look at that. WhatsApp has launched a new feature called TipLine with which users can share rumors or unverified information and check on their authenticity. Google has officially started the process of shutting down and deleting all consumer accounts on its Google Plus social network platform bringing an end to the company's attempt to directly compete with the likes of Facebook and Twitter. Saurav Gosal became the first Indian male squash player to enter the top 10 in the latest, latest PSA world ranking. Indian women squash players Josh Nachinappa and Deepika Pallikal had earlier reached top 10 in the world rankings. In e-learning training, Telangana state has ranked number one by reaching to 20,000 field staff during 2018-19. Which country is going to be the first to launch 5G services? Which car manufacturer is going to roll out Blue Link connectivity feature in India? In order to increase UPI based transactions among banks and payment services provider, NPCI has reduced the transaction charges up to 1000 to how many paise from the current charges of 25 paise? The Grid Tech 2019 was held where? The fourth meeting of India-Ukraine Working Group on Trade and Economic Cooperation was held where? South Korea will become the first country to commercially launch 5G services as it roll out its latest wireless technology with Samsung Electronics newly 5G enabled smartphone Galaxy S10. South Korea is in race with China and US and Japan to market 5G hoping the technology will spur breakthrough in the field as smart cities and autonomous car and drive up its economic growth that slowed to a six-year low in 2018. South Korean car maker Hyundai will soon roll out blue ink connectivity feature in India that will allow users to interact with their car using voice while enabling them to remotely switch on and off the car or its AC. The National Payment Corporation of India, which runs UPI, Network has slashed usage fee for small transaction to expand the system adoption among bank and payment services. Now it will be charging 10 paise from the earlier 25 paise. The Vice President of India, Sri M. Venkaiya Naidu, inaugurated Grid Tech 2019. This was held in Delhi. 
India and Ukraine discuss ways to enhance bilateral trade and investment with a view to increase economic cooperation in New Delhi during the fourth meeting of India-Ukraine Working Group on Trade and Economic Cooperation. Okay, uh, just look at the Indian export 305 million while imports were 1.92 billion. Let's move to the next. Who took over as MD of LIC? Fitch rating kept India's sovereign rating unchanged at the lowest investment grade. Just tell what uh, is the red grade with a stable outlook. In the first bi-monthly policy of 2019, RBI has changed the repo rate to how much percent? Which country will no longer perform tests or procedures researching toxoplasmosis on cats? The United Arab Emirates has conferred the prestigious which pride on prime uh, prize on Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the highest decoration awarded to King's President and the Head of States. Vipin Anand took charge as the Managing Director of Life Insurance Corporation LIC. Fitch rating has kept India's rating as triple B minus. That's the lowest investment grade with stable outlook. RBI has announced its first bi-monthly policy of the current financial year. It has uh, cut the repo rate under LAF or the rate at which it lends to bank by 25 basis point to 6%. In an announcement, the United States Department of Agriculture stated they will no longer perform tests or procedures researching toxoplasmosis on CAT. It is a disease that results from infection with Toxoplasma gondii parasite, one of the world's most common parasite. The United Arab Emirates has conferred the prestigious Zayed Medal on Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the highest decoration awarded to King Presidents and Heads of States. Who awarded around 100 President Certificate of Honor and Maheshri Badrayan Vyas Samman Award to scholars in classical languages in New Delhi? The International Day for Mine Awareness and Assistance in Mine Action was observed on which day? Recently, which country has introduced new Sharia laws? The Bureau of Indian Standards signed an MOU with which IIT set up a center of excellence in the field of standardization, testing and conformity assessment with BIS branding at the campus? Which railway station has become the first ever railway station in India in Indian Railway to get ISO certification from NGT. The Vice President, Mr. M. Venkaiya Naidu awarded the 100 President Certificate of Honor. On 8 December 2005, the General Assembly declared 4th April of each year shall be observed as International Day of Mine Awareness and Assistance in Mine Action. Brunei has recently introduced the harsh new Sharia law including death by stoning for adultery and gay sex despite a storm of global criticism from politicians, celebrities and right groups. The Bureau of Indian Standard and the Indian Institute of Technology Delhi have agreed to set up Center of Excellence in the field of standardization, testing and conformity assessment with BIS branding at IIT Delhi campus. The Guwahati Railway Station has become the first ever railway station in Indian Railway to get an ISO certification from NGT. Real estate company Telenmark will construct the biggest cultural center of India in which state? The International Center for Automotive Technology, ICAT, is organizing a new gen mobility summit 2019 at which place? UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed Nicholas Komijian of US as the head of independent investigative mechanism for which place? Fayang village that has been tagged as India's first carbon positive settlement is in which state? Recently, the WHO along with other partners has started an oral cholera vaccination campaign to protect survivor of the cyclone Idai, which place we are talking about. So, Telenmark announced that it will their ambitious and iconic structure deemed to be the biggest cultural center is under construction in Calicut, Kerala. The International Center for Automotive Technology is organizing New Gen Mobility Summit at Manasar NCR from 27 to 29 November 2019. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has uh, 
appointed Nicholas Komjian of US as the head of independent investigative mechanism for Myanmar. Fying a village in Manipur has drawn attention of all after a forest developed by his household has been tagged as in their first carbon positive settlement. An oral cholera vaccine campaign to protect the survivor of cyclone Edai begins in Beira, Mozambique. Woolly necked stork and white bellied drongo are newly found species of which animal? We are talking about Rakesh Malhotra has been appointed as the High Commissioner of India to which country who has been appointed the Head of Industry Agency Partnership in Google India. The seventh foreign office consultation between India and Italy were held where Telecom regulator Tri directed operators to summit before it all tariff plan that they offer to select segment of customer at the end of every what is the period. Uh, two new bird species uh, have been spotted in North Kerala's Aralam Wildlife Sanctuary during a recent bird survey in the district. Sri Rakesh Malhotra has been sent to Republic of Cameroon now. Mayuri Kango, a former Hindi film actress, has been appointed head of industry agency partnership in Google India. The seventh foreign office consultation between India and Italy were held in New Delhi and TRI has a directed operator summit before it. All tariff plan that they offer to select to segment customer at the end of every month. Try has issued a similar order in October 2018, but the same was set aside by Telecom Dispute Settlement and Appellate Tribunal (TDSAT). The Niti Aayog and the Dash release a report on opportunities for the automobile sector and government under the faster adoption and manufacturing of electrical vehicle (FAME2) scheme. Who became the president of World Bank recently which Indian officer was inducted into the International Hall of Fame at his alma mater the command and general staff colleges Kansas US who took charge as the new president of Confederation of Indian industry project keeper Kuiper belongs to which company Niti Aayog and Rocky Mountain Institute release a report on opportunities for automobile sector and government under faster adoption and manufacturing of electrical vehicle FAME2 scheme. Senior US Treasury official David Malpass has been selected as the president of World Bank. Indian Army General Chief uh, Indian Army Chief General Bipin Rawat was inducted into International Hall of Fame at his alma mater, the Command and General Staff Colleges in Kansas, US. Vikram Kirloskar took charge as the new president of Confederation of Indian Industry CII headquarters, New Delhi. Amazon plans to build a massive network of 3000 satellites to provide high speed internet for masses. That's their project Kuiper. Chennai based Lakshmi Villa Bank is set to merge with which housing finance in a share swap deal. Recently, the Bombay Stock Exchange became the first Indian exchange to have entered into an agreement with which exchange, who has been appointed as the MD of ILNFS, the National Maritime Day is observed on which day of April, who has been the brand ambassador of JNK election campaigns. Chennai-based Lakshmi Villas Bank is said to merge with India Bull Housing Finance in a share swap deal. The leading Indian exchange BSC and its wholly owned arm INX have entered into an MOU with the Russian boss Moscow exchange, a move that will help both the countries in connecting their investor and facilitating a capital formation platform on a large scale. Vineet Nair has been appointed as executive vice chairman while CS Rajan has been named managing director infrastructure leasing and financial services. India celebrates National Maritime Day on 5th of April. Femina Miss India 2017 runner-up Sana Dua will be the brand ambassador of Jammu and Kashmir Election Department for General Polls. Sahulat, a mobile app aimed to facilitate voting by elders, was launched in Jammu and Kashmir's which district? Which company has received license from DOT to provide internet and mobile services on flight? 
recently which bollywood actor was conferred an honorary doctorate in philanthropy by university of law london which company is going to launch is india's first ai enabled motorcycle who is the author of the book titled kundan sagas life and music sahulat is a mobile app aimed to facilitate voting by elders was launched in jammu and kashmir rajouri district state owned telecom provide uh, service provider bhartiya sanchar nigam bsnl uh, has received the license from department of telecommunication to provide internet and mobile services on flights with its satellite partner inmarsat Shahrukh Khan has added yet another feather to his cap. The actor was conferred honorary doctorate in philanthropy by University of Law London. Earlier, he has received two honorary doctorate from the University of Edinburgh and University of Bedfordshire. Micromax co-founder Rahul Sharma has announced the launch of his new venture, Revolt IntelliCorp Private Limited. This is the company which is doing, you know, R&D. Has been working for two years of. for introducing india's first ai enabled motorcycle kundan cycle life and music authored by documentary filmmaker and former ddg of doordarshan sharad dat has been transcreated in english by jyoti shabarwal of stellar publishers who became the first indian to be elected as a member of fifa executive council India won total of how many medal in Ghana Junior and Cadet Open and ITTF Junior Circuit event? Developing economies across Asia are among the most vulnerable to natural disaster and have suffered damages estimated 644 billion since 2000, according to which agency? Selamboli Suchelapan, who died at the age of 91, was a renowned which scholar? International Day of Sports for Development and Peace was observed on which day of April? All India Football Federation president Prafulla Patel has become the first Indian to be elected the member of FIFA Executive Council. India's young paddler clinched seven gold, three silver, and two bronze medal in Ghana Junior Cadet Open and ITTF Junior Circuit event. Developing economies across Asia are among the most vulnerable to natural disaster, and they have lost an estimated 644 billion since 2000. That's according to Asia Development Bank. renowned tamil scholar and orator selam boli su chellapan died at the age of 91 international day of sports for development and peace was observed on 6th of april dr vihari das gopal das patel who died at the age of 79 was a noted what anwar halim has been appointed as the next ambassador of india to which place who has been elected to the position of president of the asian football confederation who took over as the new chairman of nascom dash has been appointed uk special envoy on media freedom as the uk prepares to host an international conference on media freedom this july in the wake of attack on journalists across the world padma shri vihari das gopal das patel fondly known as vg a noted economist and hail as the father of entrepreneurship movement in the country at the age of 79 he passed away uh, sri anwar halim presently joint secretary in national defense college has been appointed next ambassador of india to hashemite kingdom of jordan sheikh salman bin ibrahim al khalifa was reelected unopposed to the position of president of asian football confederation after the regional bodies congress confirmed a new four year term for bahraini by acclamation keshav murugesh took over as the new chairman of nascom amal cluny the international law and human rights barrister has been appointed the uk special envoy on media freedom after the approval of cci which company is going to acquire the stake in it company mindtree The government sold enemy shares worth around 1150 crore in IT firm which IT firm to LIC and two other state owned insurers 30th Arab summit was held where and who is the ESPN Indian sports person of the year male and who is the ESPN Indian sports person of the year female let's look at the answers we're talking about LNC is you know got the clearance from competition commission to acquire 66.15% stake in Mindtree The government sold enemy share worth almost 1150 crore 
in IT firm Wipro to the Life Insurance Corporation and other two insurers. The 30th Arab summit was a Tunisian success that happened in Tunisia. ESPN India Awards Sport Person of the Year male was Neera Chopra and female was PV Sindhu. The Battle of Kangla Tongvi was fought where? Prevention of Blindness Week 2019 was observed from which day to which day. The first ever global coalition on clean and efficient cooling was launched where? Recently, which e-commerce company has created a crowdfunding platform in partnership with Keto? Which railway station has been renamed as Purachi Thalever Dr. MGR Central Railway Station? Let's look at the answers. Japanese forces have planned a three-pronged offensive to capture Imphal in the surrounding area at Kangla Tongbi near Imphal in Manipur. A small but determined officers, these soldiers put up a stiff resistance against the ad advancing Japanese force. So this place is famous for this fight. Prevention, uh, Prevention of Blindness Week 2019 was observed from 1st of April to 7th of April. The first ever global coalition on clean and efficient cooling was launched at the first global conference on synergies between 2030 Agenda and Paris Agreement which concluded in Copenhagen, Denmark. Amazon India announced the launch of its seller funding program Amazon Wings in partnership with Keto, a crowdfunding platform. Chennai Railway Station has been renamed as Purachi Thalewa Dr. MGR Central Railway Station. Sidney Brenner, who died at the age of 92, was an eminent what? Recently, which organization has taken steps to assist small tea growers? Dash has been named as the Global Slack Company of the Year at the 14th Global Slack Conference and Exhibition 2019. In the airports, Pacific Fund approved by SEBI, how much amount of capital can be raised? The theme for World Health Day 2019 is what? Sidney Brenner, a South African-born biologist who helped determine the nature of genetic code and shared a Nobel Prize in 2002 for developing a tiny transparent worm into the test bed for biological discoveries, died in Singapore. To spend rupees 50 lakh, run promotion over 6 to 12 months, Solidaridad unveiled an Android-based training tool for the small tea growers. The Indian Tea Association is looking at launching a social media campaign to target young population in age bracket 15 to 35 will aim to boost tea consumption among coffee drinkers. Tata Steel has been named as the Global Slack Company of the Year at the 14th Global Slack Conference and Exhibition. Award was presented to Tata Steel for its innovative practices in development of new application for steel byproducts. In the first for the country, market regulator SEBI has approved airport specific fund taking off to the future airport fund which can raise capital of 10,000 crore 1.5 billion has been approved by SEBI as category 2 alternative investment fund. The World Health Day is a global health awareness day celebrated every year on 7th of April. Okay, what is the theme is universal health coverage, everyone, everywhere. Who is the winner of Malaysia Open Badminton Kuala Lumpur? Justice Pradeep Nand Rajog was sworn in as the new Chief Justice of which High Court. Justice TBN Radha Krishnan took oath as the new Chief Justice of which High Court. The African line is the joint military exercise between which countries? The National Cardiology Conference 2019 was held where? Chinese badminton ace Lin Dan clinched the Malaysian Open in Kuala Lumpur. Justice Pradeep Nand Rajog was sworn in as the new Chief Justice of Bombay High Court. TBN Radhakrishnan took oath as the new Chief Justice of Calcutta High Court. Units of Moroccan Royal Army Forces, US Army and British Army conducted joint exercise in Tifnet, a coastal city south of Agadir, to strengthen their cap capabilities in the fight against violent extremist organization. The training part is a part of the combined Moroccan-American African Lion joint exercise. So, African Lion is Moroccan-American, even British Army took part in the exercise. 
Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu visited Lucknow where he was a chief guest at National Cardiology Conference 2019 and Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences. Okay, so with that we come to an end of this week's Gainful. I'll again see you very soon with the next one. Thank you very much.